Hey, greetings, everyone. Lieutenant Colonel Allen West, Senior Fellow at the Media Research Center. You know, it is once again, we have a heavy heart, especially down here in Texas. We all know about the shooting that occurred in Midland, Odessa, where a deranged individual decided that he would take a shot at a state patrol officer. And then, of course, just randomly began to shoot at people all throughout the Midland, Odessa, West Texas area. Our thoughts and prayers and condolences go out to those that lost their loved ones and those that will be severely affected, and especially a little 17-month-old child who had shrapnel uh, that was in her mouth and also her chest. We pray that she will be able to survive. Thank God that the police officers were able to gun down this assailant. Many people are asking about what's the motive. It's just a simple motive, and that is evil. But then there's also the motive of some people to try to, once again, use this for their own political advancement, their own ideological agenda. These are weapons of war, and they're used as instruments of terror in our country. And so I think, in addition to those steps that I just described, it is really important that we buy back those weapons of war that are out on our streets right now, millions of them. We should not be talking about disarming Americans. We should not be talking about punishing legal, law-abiding gun owners. I have semi-automatic rifles. They don't do anything but sit in the closet unless I engage them. And yes, I did go out shooting on Labor Day, but guess what? I shot at targets, not at anyone else, because there's no evil intent in my heart. And that's what we have to deal with. But I also find it is very interesting that there are some other tragedies that the progressive socialist left does not want to talk about such as the amount of shootings that occurred once again this weekend in Chicago. Prayers, candles, balloons, and a mother's grief tonight for a murdered 15-year-old boy. I'm um, not. It ain't hit me yet. It was Tracy Jackson who found her son, 15-year-old Devante, at 2.20 yesterday morning after hearing shots outside their South Austin home. It's sad. They chased my son down like a dog. 6 p.m. Saturday, five people were shot, two fatally on the front porch of a home in Englewood. And right there, not even halfway through the holiday weekend, we passed the shooting total from last Labor Day. <laughs> The gunfire continued today. Just after one this afternoon, a 22-year-old man was shot seven times near 85th Street and South East End Avenue. For whatever reason, the left, Robert Francis O'Rourke, Castro, Kamala Harris, none of them go to Chicago and talk about what is happening there. Maybe because it's a Democrat-run city. But let's talk about what just happened in another Democrat-run city. A new twist in the case that puts San Francisco in the center of an immigration firestorm. The killing of Kate Steinle on a waterfront pier back in 2015. On July 1st in 2015, Kate Steinle died while taking a walk with her father on Pier 14. Jose Inez Garcia Zarate was arrested and tried for murder, but the jury only found him guilty on one charge, an ex-felon in possession of a firearm. The defense claimed Garcia Zarate didn't know he was was picking up a gun covered with a cloth on the ground and an accidentally fired killing Steinle. Late this afternoon, the First District Court of Appeal then overturned the gun conviction because the judge failed to give the jury the option of acquitting Garcia Zarate on the theory he only possessed the weapon for a moment. Let me explain something to you. If there was a snake in my backyard and I went inside and got my shotgun and went out and shot that snake, I could be charged with the public discharge of a firearm. That's a pretty serious offense. Now, how can it be that this man, a five-time deported illegal immigrant, could just somehow come up upon a gun wrapped in a T-shirt and unwittingly picks it up and accidentally fires it and kills a young American woman? If anything, that is involuntary manslaughter. If anything, that is the criminal offense of public discharge of a firearm. But yet somehow out in San Francisco, a criminal illegal immigrant that shot an innocent American woman is found guilty of nothing to include even the possession, the illegal possession of a firearm. That's a tragedy to me. Because the real tragedy is this mentality, this ideological agenda that says that criminal and legal immigrants can do anything they want to include murder innocent American citizens. 
and yet there's no outrage. Because the more important thing is the progressive socialist left agenda of allowing illegal immigrants into this country and giving them any right, privilege, ability to do anything that they want. It's not just the free health care. It's not just the free college. But it's the ability to kill Americans and get away with it. See, the gunman that shot those innocent people in Midland, Odessa, he's dead. The gunman that shot those innocent Americans at Walmart and El Paso, he will be dead by way of the death penalty. But this individual, Jose Inez Garcia Zarate, who killed an innocent American woman, walks free. But yet no one on some of these other leftist media channels are talking about this. But here we have the real tragedy. The tragedy of an American family who a father held his daughter in his arms as she said the incredible words, Dad, I don't want to die. And yet her killer gets to walk free. We can rectify the tragedy that happened out in Midland, Odessa. And we can rectify the tragedy that has happened in Dayton, Ohio, we can fix the tragedies that are happening in Chicago, but the tragedy of what happened to Kate Steinle, it appears that the progressive socialists left because their ideological agenda is more important than anything else. They don't want to fix that.